Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video here on FBL Now. Today we're going to be going over my transfer plans for game week 13 and also how I'm currently getting on in game week 12. So if you're excited for the video, drop a like down below, leave a comment, what are your plans for the next game week, subscribe if you're brand new and let's get into the video. So starting things off, game week 12 not been going great. I'm finished on 54 points, a game week rank of 3.1 mil. It's not been the worst red arrow, it feels like I've had a terrible game week. Uh, because basically all of my players blanked and also Semenyo picked up another yellow means which means he misses the next game week But I'm only on like a 50k red. Obviously, we still have the Newcastle game to play tonight There'll be auto subs and stuff. So I'm expecting to be like it Well, depending on what happens tonight, I uh, could be looking at like 100k 150k red arrow uh, But yeah, it's just necessarily been probably one of the worst game weeks uh, of the season because I've had so many blanks I've only had three players return uh, which was Salah which doesn't really matter because everybody captained him this week and then double Arsenal defence finally coming through. Uh, Raya picking up six points and Gabriel picking six points uh, up, which is obviously fantastic because a lot of people jumped off Arsenal defence. So that definitely saved my game weekend. Well, didn't really save it, but made it a little bit better than uh, obviously it would have been. But uh, yeah, Raya and Gabriel finally picking up six points. Obviously, as a Forest fan, not ideal to go to the Emirates and lose 3-0. But hopefully this is the start of Arsenal's sort of clean sheet uh, potential and they just go back to what they were like last season. They just keep bringing in those clean sheets. But yeah, Raya picked up up six Gabriel picked up six eight Nori picked up two it was really annoying for them to concede that goal from Fulham because obviously they wouldn't like four one away from home which is their best result all season so yeah to actually lose that clean sheet was a little bit annoying uh the Colwell clean sheet was really really annoying as well I did get rid of um who did I get rid of it, uh, this week I think it was Mikalenko for Colwell this week uh, which obviously I should have kept because I'm pretty sure Everton did keep a clean sheet against Brentford but uh yeah Colwell came in for Mikalenko which I'm not annoyed about because they've obviously got really good fixtures coming up it's the fact they conceded a penalty in like the 94th minute because it was obviously on a six pointer at that point which again would have only put my game week up to 58 points instead of 54 but it, it would have helped anyway but yeah losing a clean sheet in the 94th minute is really really annoying so yeah my other option obviously was lewis hall um who obviously hasn't played yet so we'll see if that's obviously going to go bad i'm assuming they'll probably go and keep a clean sheet now but I don't mind Colwell for the next few fixtures anyway. Like, obviously, Villa at home is not ideal, but then they've got Southampton, they've got Brentford, Everton coming up. Brentford just look really, really bad at the moment going forward. This will be the last week I think I own a Bumo, then I'll probably get rid of him. Um, but as of right now, uh, yeah, I the, the defence was very much hit and miss. Like, Arsenal did really well. Could have been so much better, but it is what it is. Uh, the midfield, absolute shambles this week. Obviously, apart from Salah, who went and does what he does best. Like, double-digit haul is a second nature to him this season. He just can't stop scoring. Um, but Mbumo picking up three, like I say, has been really, really bad lately. His numbers have absolutely fell off the face of the earth. Uh, the Leicester fixture is probably the last one I'm going to keep him. I don't know who I'm going to get rid of for him. But uh, I do think I will be getting rid of uh, Umbumo very, very soon. Uh, Palmer picking up two points. I mean, definitely should have scored. Mikalenko doing a Nani plus Ronaldo combo and just getting in the way or whatever, being offside. It was really, really unfortunate, especially if you're a Palmer captain. Uh, you've been absolutely robbed there because that, that was a... I think that shot had like an XG of 0 0.9 or something like that. Like it was going in, obviously. Um... Uh, Madu I think I said Mikalenko, Madueki uh, got in front of it. So yeah, Salah doing what he does best, 26 points there, really, really nice. Uh, and then Semenyo uh, picking up that one point, yeah, picked up a yellow card, does serve his uh, one game suspension now. I think I'm just going to get rid of him this week. Uh, there's no point of keeping him really because after this game he's got Spurs. Um, and then obviously Ipswich and West Ham, which are pretty good, but I'd much rather just get rid of him at this point. And then, yeah, Rodgers picking up two points as well. Villa seem to have dropped off quite a bit as well. It might be an actual team to target. I think Palmer could be a pretty good captaincy shout uh, for game week 13. Um, so, yeah, midfield not great. And then up top, yeah, Raul Jimenez has been awful. I brought him in. Uh, he was scoring every single game before I brought him in. I brought him in, and I think over the last four game weeks, I think he's picked up one assist. It's just been terrible. So, I, I, I'm looking forward to getting rid of him soon as well, especially with Arsenal and Liverpool coming up for, for Fulham in the future. Uh, and obviously Spurs. It's, it's definitely a player that I want to get rid of. And then Haaland is just, yeah, I, I think this is it. I think I'm just going to get rid of him at this point. He's been a horrible hold. Uh, he's, he's underperformed drastically. Like, he should have scored in pretty much every single game that I've, had, like, I've kept him in. Uh, and he's been absolutely terrible. This Liverpool away fixture, I think, is going to be awful for them as well. I think Liverpool are going to absolutely destroy them. I mean, 4-0 at home to Spurs. I know that Spurs are their bogey team, but what is going on at City man honestly 4-0 is ridiculous uh so yeah I think having 15 mil stored in a player that's just not playing very well at the moment just isn't 
going to be useful. It's just, and this is why, like, obviously, because I've got Haaland, I have Strand Larson over Kuna. I have um, Raul Jimenez over Jackson. They obviously both did really well this week. Uh, it's just a player that's hurting the rest of my team. So I think getting rid of him, getting that 15 mil to, to kind of mess around was going to be really ideal. We'll talk about that a lot in the transfer portion of the video because I'm, I'm set and getting rid of him this week. I, 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 there's nothing else that's going to convince me not to do it. Even if he scores a hat-trick midweek, don't even care. He scored a, I think he scored a brace or a hat-trick in the Nations League midweek and then went and dropped a stinker against Spurs. So absolutely fine getting rid of him this week. No no doubt about that. Uh, and then also Strand Larson on my bench picked up five points, did pick up an assist. Milenkovic picked up a point and then Greaves uh, with the zero points. I don't think Greaves actually started. Uh, I do need Greaves to come back though, really, just in case over like the international break, uh, over the Christmas period and stuff. But that's how we're currently doing in uh, game week 12. Again, Newcastle game to play, auto subs as well. Currently on a red arrow of about 50k. It's probably going to go up to about 100, 150, especially if like Isaac scores or they keep a clean sheet. I think I'm going to need like Isaac to blank and then yeah, Newcastle concede like two goals, which I don't think will happen, but we'll, we'll see. So yeah, that's game week 12 in a nutshell. Very, very bad. Let's move on to transfers now. Because I went from Mikolenko to Colwell, I currently have zero in the bank. That's not a problem because Haaland is gone this week. I'm going to be getting rid of Haaland, so I have 15 mil in the bank. I do have two free transfers as well. I potentially might take a hit as well. I'm not completely convinced about that yet, but um, I'm definitely getting rid of Haaland this week, and I'm definitely getting rid of Semenyo this week. So for Semenyo, I mean, obviously the choice is Saka. I'm bringing Saka in this week. He's got West Ham away. Potentially will be my captain as well. Um, I do like Palmer against Villa. But I just think West Ham have been really, really poor lately. And I think Arsenal, they might have found their uh, form again and hopefully can smash like three or four past West Ham. So, yeah, don't mind uh, the, the captaincy shout on Saka there. I think obviously Palmer's good. I think Salah's even good this week uh, as well. I think he always does well against City. And uh, with how bad City are at the moment, it is at Anfield. Um, so, yeah, I think uh, Salah could go big in that game. But, yeah, I'll be bringing in um, Saka this week. And then there's so many strikers that I want to bring in. And that I'm going to bring in over the next week. Because with all this money in the bank, I will be able to upgrade everyone. Which is another reason why I might be taking a hit. I'm not completely convinced about it yet. Um, but I think the main forward that I'm probably going to go for is is probably Jao Pedro. I mean, he's got such a good fixture with Southampton at home coming up. It's just his minutes that I'm a little bit worried about. Like, he should be on penalties. But he hasn't hit 90 minutes yet since he's come back from recovery. He did obviously pick up 60 um, at the weekend against Bournemouth. So 25 to 60, you think he's going to be getting to those uh, lengths. Because I think if he's fine, he's going to play because he is just one of their best attacking players. Um, and yeah, picked up back-to-back double-digit holes. And, and that was against City and then Bournemouth. And now he's got Southampton at home, which is such a good fixture. And then Fulham, Leicester, Palace, West Ham. The only thing that I'm worried about is obviously over the, uh, over the I keep saying international break, over the Christmas period, there's going to be so much rotation. And I know he's going to miss one of those fixtures. Um, probably maybe the West Ham fixture on, in game week 17. Because I think from the 15th, to be fair, 15th to the 21st, I don't actually think it's, no, it'll probably be the 27th fixture, maybe. Or the 30th fixture. Um, because, which, I guess if we miss Villa, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. It's just, is he going to be playing... If I can get like 70, 80 minutes out of him every single week, I'll be fine with that. But if I can't, then that's when it's a little bit of a worry. So, I, I really want Jao Padre this week. But I just don't know if um, if it's coming too quick for him. Because obviously, if I don't if I don't bring Jao Pedro in, it's going to either be Kuna or Jackson. Because I want both of those for their fixture runs as well. I already have Strand Larson, so it doesn't make a massive bit of sense to bring Kuna in and have two Wolves attackers. But at the same time, why not? Because they've got such good fixtures coming up. Like, my front three, what I want it to be is um, Kuna, Jackson, and Jao Pedro. That's the front three that I want. I can bring one of them in this week. I could bring two for a hit. I could get rid of Raul Jimenez this week and bring in um, Jackson, who's obviously got Villa at home. Uh, knowing my look though, I'll bring Jackson and he'll pick up a yellow card because he's also on four yellows. So if he picks up a yellow, then that then obviously I can't play in the week after, which won't be the worst thing in the world anyway because I'll be able to play like Rogers, who's got Brentford at home or something. So that's not going to be terrible. But yeah, I do need to sort out my midfield in terms of a boomo, but I, I think my strike force needs to be... Because I think with my defense, it's not too bad at the moment. I can honestly alternate between uh, Gabriel, Colwell, and Aitnori and Milenkovic for a bit. Like, Milenkovic probably needs to go. I'm, I'll play him this week because he's got Ipswich at home. But after that, the fixtures aren't ideal. Um, so I'll have to get rid of Milenkovic at some point soon as well. So 
yeah, I just I feel like I have to get rid of Haaland, though. I think he's just such a massive issue in my team. And I think if I, I want Saka as well, it's just which striker do I bring in? It's either Jao Pedro Jackson or Kuna this week. Already got Strand Larson, so not as opposed to, to uh, not as likely to go with um, Kuna. But yes, um, Jao Pedro or or Jackson, or just take a hit and bring both in this week. Get rid of Raúl Jiménez. Bring in either Jackson or because I can't afford them all at the end of the day. If I um, let's just see what the team looks like when I eventually have them all in. I, I can afford them pretty easily as well. I think I think I still have like one point, yeah, two in the bank. So that one point two can then be used to like bolster up the defense maybe a little bit. Um, which is obviously going to be absolutely fine. So, yeah, that's that's kind of where I'm at. I, I also, I mean, Bruno Fernandes could also be an option as well to bring in uh, for Mbumo down the line because I'll be able to afford him. He's 8.5, um, so I can I can afford Bruno Fernandes as well. Not that I want to because he's got Arsenal and City coming up, but when their fixtures potentially get a little bit better, um, maybe over the Christmas period, just because you know he's a 90-minute man, potentially a player to bring in. And I know that... Um, I, I, I've never even thought about Bruno Fernandes this season, but he's just a nice 90-minute player that's going to play over the Christmas period. So either way, the strike force is definitely something that needs to get sorted out first. And um, yeah, it won't all be this week, but I think um, definitely going to get rid of Semenya for Saka because he can't play anyway. Uh, and then I'll obviously play my... Uh, I'll play 3-4, maybe 3-5-2. Depends, man. I don't know. I don't know what strike to bring in. I think João Pedro... And then next week, maybe I bring in Jackson when they've got Southampton. Because if I bring Jackson in this week and then he misses the Southampton fixture because he picks up another yellow card, it's just it's just going to ruin everything because then they've got Spurs. So maybe I hold off a week on Jackson. Maybe I just bring Kuna in this week because he's got Bournemouth and Everton. He's on penalties. Um, I just have both Strand Larson and Kuna this week and just fully attack Bournemouth because Bournemouth haven't been great. They haven't kept a clean sheet in a while. Just, I don't know, man. It's a tough one. I didn't think I'd ever own three Wolves players, but it could be this week. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to have a lot of money to play around with because obviously of the Haaland sale. So um, yeah, we'll see. I mean, Kuna's on like back-to-back -back double digit hauls as well. So just feels like it's a decision. I mean, he's he's returned every single week apart from one, which was City since game week seven. So he's just a player that I just need to bring because then they've got Bournemouth, Everton, West Ham, Ipswich and Leicester. The only bad thing, obviously, is around game week 18 when the fixtures go really bad. I'm going to have to get rid of a couple of Wolves players. But I'm not going to have Strand Larson for long anyway. Because I'll be getting rid of Strand Larson the week after. So, maybe that's what I do. Maybe I just... Um, yeah, maybe I just take a hit this week and bring Kuna in for, for Raul Jimenez. Because Spurs away is not a great fixture for Jimenez. And he's not... Fulham haven't been great lately either. So, maybe that's something that I do. Just take the hit. Just, just kind of sort the team out and then uh, it's just going to look a lot better on paper if I do that. Then bring Jackson in next week when he's got Southampton. Uh, probably bench and Bumo who's got Villa. I, know, I, couldn't, really, I couldn't really do that because he's on penalties. But then, yeah, maybe start thinking about, about getting rid of Mbumo. I don't know because Mbumo is still a 90-minute man. And obviously I can play Rodgers in Brentford, Bournemouth and Forest. So, or, or Brentford, Southampton and Forest, should I say. So, yeah, we'll have to have a look. But, uh, yeah, I think Haaland out this week and Saka in. And then, yeah, depending on the striker. Obviously, with his midweek fixtures as well. So, if there's an injury to, like, Saka midweek, it's going to change my mind completely again. And I'll probably just bring in, like, strikes and stuff and just bench some menu. But we'll see. Either way, that's going to be everything for my video today. If you enjoyed, drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're brand new. And until next time, peace.